So we've had the Hewl unboxing, it's now time to check this stuff out. We're gonna make the first drink. I've never had it before, so it's gonna be a little bit of an experience. For the first one, and for this sort of demo test, whatever you wanna call it, I'm not going to use my food mixer. I'm just gonna use it the way uh, they've said to make it in the, the instructions. So direct in the provided shaker. So I already have 400 ml of water in here. Tear this open. I'm going for the vanilla. See what that tastes like. I think we'll give it a little sniff test. See what it smells like as well. Quite a bit of pipe in that one. Mmm. Just smells like a sort of milkshake powder. Vanilla. You can't smell the vanilla in there. And sort of a. If you if you know what Horlix is, like a sort of malt drink, it smells like that. A mixture of that and vanilla. So, we want three scoops, and they're going to be level scoops. So, here we go. One. Two. It's quite thick, the powder. It's not loose and crumbly. If you can see that on the camera there, I'll leave that in the tub. So it's kind of mounded where I've poured it in. You can see it's sitting in the in the beaker. Just put that on there, tighten the lid. I'll close this up so it doesn't get contaminated with bits of water and dust and whatever. Actually, I'll show you in the bag. I'll show you in this bag before I seal it. It's not much to see, it's just a bag full of powder. So there you go. Heavy, heavy, heavy bag. I was looking before, and three scoops for one meal replacement. Um, you're looking at about equivalent of £1.30 per meal. So if you want to do any maths on how much you spend at work on lunch and stuff. So in the tip video, they say to hold the lid. Obviously that's in case it just flies open and spills everywhere. So now we'll give it a bit of a shake. Got to shake for 10 seconds. Bit of wrist action there. Try the other arm, it's getting a bit tired. It's not looking like it's mixed that well. It's quite thick and gloopy in there. Right, so we'll open this up. I'm pretty sure that was 10 seconds. Oh, it says to put the rest of the water in the spout, doesn't it? Okay. So we'll open the spout. I've got some measured out here in a jug. So we'll just pour this in. I would fill it up with a tap, but I'm not next to the sink. I think I'm going to give it another shake as well. Just to, oh, 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 got a leakage. This video should be how not to uh, make fuel. Right, I'll get a bit of kitchen towel. It's fine, it's fine. I must have screwed the lid on properly when I uh, went to loosen it. Right, there we go, fixed, fixed. Right, I'll, I'm going to give it another shake just to try and get some of that water mixed up with it. It does say you can add ice if you want to. Um, I'm not gonna bother. Just try it like this. I've had the water in the fridge that was in the jug. So, here we go. Let's take my first taste of fuel and see what it's like. Quite 
quite grainy and gritty. I don't know if I'm on the camera here. It's quite grainy and gritty. You can taste the vanilla. Um, it's more watery than I imagined it was going to be. I think I was expecting more of a sort of milkshake. Um, but it's alright. It's not as bad as people have made out. Some people say it's absolutely disgusting. Tastes quite decent. Thumbs up for that. Will it suppress my appetite and act as a complete meal replacement? Time will tell. I'll maybe do an update video in about a week to let you know how I've been using it and how I've got on. But there you go. That's how you make Huel with a little taste test. Thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.